right, let's just get straight back in to yet another game of Risk. We were fortunate enough to have won our last game. We are still a master, and we've crashed through. This might be my highest rank of all time, 17,450 globally. Uh, we're just jumping back in. We're hitting the auto match. Give me another game, uh, and let's see what we can get starting off with the pink pieces here, and we'll see what we got. Um... Yeah, so slowly trying to work our way up towards the Grandmaster title. <laughs> I know it's a little bit more difficult playing just fixed on Classic and maybe getting to Grandmaster, but you know what? It's just going to be all the more rewarding when we get there. So I'm in. Start me off hot. Uh, let's see. The last position. Not immediately the biggest fan of my board. I would like to be able to go for North America, but I'm immediately seeing I'm getting massively contested by red i don't know what else red would do <laughs> we will see we go last so we don't have to make a big decision i'm already kind of worried this might be a no continent game which is fine we can do that as well white's coming for south america i am not gonna fight you there i'm gonna try to get my three out black yeah I'll chill with white. If I'm going for North America, it would help that white and I are friends. He's a man of love. I give him a little bit of love back. Um, and we'll see what happens from here. Black, I'm not sure. Black, I'm not entirely sure what they do. I guess you go for Africa. If I'm black, I come in here. I try to get Africa. But we're going to see some units added to Upper Asia. Hmm. It's a bit weird. <laughs> no, is black going for North America? Why? What is happening? Ugh, hits the two. Okay. Black is a genius <laughs> that I can't understand. I, I didn't understand black's turn at all. <laughs> but he got out of North America. I'll give you that. But he hit a two. Kind of weird for the first turn. But uh, we'll give it to you. Red now. Nobody has gone for Indonesia. I would expect Red to maybe make an Indonesia play. This might even be a part of an Indonesia play if you're headed down. Oh, but you're going up. Which indicates Red wants North America, but completely failed. <laughs> Red completely fails to go for North America. But I think that indicates Red's intentions pretty clearly. And I might go to early war with red. Red should do something to get a card. Red might need to make another attack. If you knew my intentions were to attack you, you could attack me. But I'm thinking of, of smashing this too. Just because red is more or less the enemy. He's got uh, 11 in North America. I've got 11. So I would like to be able to get more armies in there than him. I might even smash this one. <laughs> you, you know what? I might even. Alternatively, I could try to give red a way out and into Europe, which might be a sensible, more peaceful approach. Um, in doing so, I'm blocking white. I need to get out of white's way. I need to use my fortification to get out of white's way. So I need to keep that in the back of my mind as well. So we got a lot to accomplish. It's only round one. Red, are you botting out early? This would be like the worst thing. Yeah, just grab a card. No problem. Okay, here's how here's how I think I do this. I've got an idea. Um, I go, I get four because I am in the last position. Here's how I want to do it. I'm gonna give red a peaceful option out. Giving red an option out also gives red the opportunity to come in which is worrying. <laughs> uh, if so, though, I'll be right behind you. And here's I just want to let you know, this is mine. And I'm offering you a way out. So get out of here. Go ahead. Get your troops. Go get Europe or something. I'm out. You have an escape route. I also think that maybe I'm just better than red based on only one turn. Um, but what, and what I'm saying is I think I could outplay red if I absolutely had to <laughs> in North America. 
So red is the turn I most eagerly wait to see. Black I have still yet to figure out. Black did kind of some weird escaping North America into Europe, but didn't really establish where they are going or what continent they desire. Maybe now recognizing Africa, I expect black to sneak all the way into Africa, hitting white once or twice on the way out the door. Looks like it's gonna be a two attack turn for black. And Africa seems like a very sensible place for black to get troops. Now, one potential danger, like if I get North America, I'm very happy. If I can get it and chill and be friends with white, I'm very happy, but I'm also a little concerned. Sometimes North America and South America are not the nicest neighbors, especially if white gets the continent super quick. <laughs> it's very difficult to sometimes hold North America if white is an aggressive player that will constantly attack you in Central America. So that's one risk behind my strategy so far. Uh, three on two, okay. Bad, very bad call. <laughs> you don't do it again, you know it's bad. Whatever. So black, I would say, also is not the strongest player. Going two on one. Stop! <laughs> Stop! You're so bad. Uh, don't give away all your troops. You could keep them. All of those troops he just wasted could have been troops spent in Africa. So black, I'm kind of assuming, is the worst player. Red, maybe second worst. White seems to be playing all right so far. All right. Red is going for North America. All alternatively, gosh, okay, red, everybody's bad. <laughs> They're so bad I could run and go get Indonesia if I wanted it. Um, could maybe get these five a little closer. So red is not leaving, which means if you don't want to leave, ah, bad turn. And this five will come up next. Could also just hit red just to hit red. Um, okay, so red is not gonna leave. Red might even use these troops to enter in again, but I'll still give red the opportunity to get out if he so desires. Okay, white. Based on the current board, I would definitely... I wouldn't go two-on-one, though. I wouldn't go two-on-one. I don't understand all these two-on-ones. So I do think I'm the strongest in this lobby. That's just a lot of attacks. Are you going to take two continents on one turn? You're going for it. I'm going to end up with Indonesia on the next turn. Look at this. <laughs> I don't know. A, a good part of me thinks... Somehow combine these all these troops together and get them all the way over to Indonesia. Chill out, and these guys are all going to kill themselves. But we'll see what happens. I'd hate to get too cocky and then just get absolutely crushed. <laughs> but uh, could happen. For now, I'm in a little bit of a lead, but I don't have a continent, unlike white. Black will have Africa potentially very soon. We know Black doesn't stop attacking, so I imagine Black is just grabbing Africa on this turn. He's shown no quit. He will attack as long as he's got troops to do it. And Black takes Africa just like that. And where's the six go? Are you gonna aim at South America? Oh, actually, oh, wow. <laughs> Aiming over here. We'll see what happens in uh, Indonesia. Red continuing to pile into North America. I might need to get out of North America, to be honest. It might be time to leave. Uh, so I might just do that. All right, maybe my welcome has been overstayed. I'm gonna begin the process of heading towards Indonesia, or just Africa generally. Maybe I don't get a continent. Okay, white goes double continent. Okay. 
I would like to be able to get this seven out, but I can't imagine red voluntarily letting me out. And why it has two continents? Who's going to do anything about it? Okay, maybe black. Nope, black will not be hitting white. I was kind of hoping for a little bit of bloodshed down here. Not going to see it. Oh, loading up a little bit more. Nine on seven. Wait, is he actually going to do it? No. Attacking red. Attacks another two. <laughs> He's going to go right straight for Europe. All right, let's see what red does. Red's going to... Red can have North America. I don't want to fight for it anymore. Hopefully he doesn't kill too, too many of my troops. I am trying to leave at this moment. Just don't hit my seven. Leave my Let my seven out. <laughs> okay. You got it, buddy. I'm out. You won. You won this war. Red's a person, right? No, Red is not a person. Red's a bot. Wait, how long has Red been a bot? I've been sitting here making fun of a bot for playing so bad. So these seven are just kind of wasted. Ooh, okay. Now, all right, you know what? <laughs> it's going to happen. Black, I think is, I don't know, the worst player. So here's the play. Wow, I won a lot. So watch this. Now, white saying love. Yeah, sure. Maybe I could have killed white. I wasn't really paying any attention. I just want this. Now... Black is a human. I think it's, okay, so White's saying it's all right. That's cool that you did it. Please don't smash me here. If I don't smash you, though, I got to hit you. I got to hit you. Otherwise, the bot's going to hit me. How much does this friendship mean? Ooh, this is a big decision. All right, I let White live. Another idea was to smash white. <laughs> is white going to smash me? I think white is just defending. At some point, I'm, I'm obviously a little bit worried that the bot is going to attack my seven, which means I'm going to lose a lot of troops. And if I lose a lot of troops, I would rather lose my seven against white seven. But we let white live for yet another turn. But white's in a bit of peril. White attacks the bot. And we'll see what black comes up with here. Black will not be able to kill white, who has five cards. Black is crazy enough to attack my 10. <laughs> <clears throat> we'll see what black decides to do here. Okay, I'm thinking black is gonna hit Indonesia. Just, that's how I feel. I just feel like that's the thing black would do. And that's fine. You failed. Fantastic. So I will... I'm... A good part of me wants to take these white troops out of the board and then see how white deals with that. <clears throat> white will be turning in though. Why, dude? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. And it totally backfired. <laughs> what a crazy attacker. So black just attacks like the psycho. <laughs> Took out a little bit of pent-up aggression on me. And now offers white the opportunity to attack black. Honestly, I would like to eliminate white a lot more than black, even though black's been hitting me. Because I think I can win the endgame more easily against black. And also white is down some troops. All right, perfect. So we got the bot there all set up. If I was somehow... I should defend because black is going to be attacking me. Can I, so, oh, can I somehow get all these guys? I'm going to do it. All right. Sorry, white. We're not as friendly as you thought we were. Um, I'm going to do that. 
And I want to get these guys out of Japan, but I know Black's going to attack me. And Black has five cards. Wait, Black is actually going to attack me pretty hard. <laughs> so let's just gear up. Black's going to, like, try to take Indonesia or something. We'll just let that happen. Um, but I'm telling White, if you want a card, you got to break the bot or you got to break Black. And it turns out he's going to be breaking the bot. All right. Fine with that. Red. The bot gets weaker and weaker. Should be somebody worth killing. All right. White trusts black. Okay. But this bot is still going to fill up most of North America against white, I would imagine. Let's see how much damage black does. And I'm just allowing black to break the continent just because I think black likes breaking continents. Oh, he's actually going for the whole thing. All right. <laughs> that is fair as well. All right, what can you do? Black takes two continents. Ugh, so I gotta fight with black, but black is the strongest. I can't really do it. I need white and black to fight each other. How is black just, like, easily winning this game? Holy... <laughs> I'm actually in pretty bad shape. Hmm. Nine on six? Come on, man. What the heck? Works out for him that time. I'm down to 13 troops. Holy cow. I need white to fight black, but I've been so mean to white that it's not happening. <laughs> so, there we go. Let's see what red does. Black is so safe from the bot. Black has the most places. Black's a genius. How could Black have played any better? <laughs> I feel like Nimzovich. How can I lose to all these idiots? <laughs> but Black's set up to win. Uh, I can try to hit it, but then Black's just going to kill me. If I run down here and hit this too, I die. So... I gotta avoid that. I gotta just not die. If white doesn't hit black, I'm kind of busted. This might just end very poorly. We are down to 15 total troops. White is not hitting black. That is not good. Black can't Kill me on the next turn. Maybe if they turn in. Also, if black magically turns in, they can... Nah, it still won't, probably won't be able to kill me. But they could do... Basically. They could basically kill me. I need white to, like, massively overextend and be seen by black as some sort of target. But white's chilling out. White's playing this very well. Even though black <laughs> also equally could smash white. Look at this. You can take a whole continent. Is that tempting, black? Huh? You could put all these people here? Look at that. Take three continents. Really show us who's the boss. Honestly, if you did, <laughs> who's going to stop you? Ah, just get out of there, man. What the heck? All right. Black is just bent on killing me. Which is understandable. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I'm dead. I get it. D now, wait a minute. I could... Okay, this would, this is dumb. And I do not think this will work. But maybe... Just maybe... I can do the craziest strategy of all time here. I can waste my wild. I can turn in... I can have zero cards... <laughs> I can maybe do a zero card strategy where I never take a card. Will this encourage black to only fight white? Also, will it prevent this computer from killing me? I'm not sure. I'm just right in the middle of Europe. And I'm not going to break black. I'm going to trade everything in. And I'm not going to take a card. This is my last hope. I'm not the, the zero card strategy. I'm then going to attempt to befriend black. 
he accepts. All right, look at that. On the thumbs up, give him a heart. And we're not really competing for first place. First place doesn't seem like it's on the table. I need to out-survive <laughs> white. Red might die. But I need black to just attack white. Leave me alone. I have zero cards. So honestly, there's no real reason for black to attack me if I'm not going to attack him and I'm not going to take any cards. Getting to know my opponents. Okay. And I want white to just go nuts. Just dig North America. What what is this though? Three three six six. What is this stacking going on? <laughs> what the heck is going on with white? Dude, I I didn't understand this game at all. So everyone will be like you know top level players because I didn't understand anything. It's like when you play like a you know twenty seven hundred at chess. None of their moves make any sense, and then next thing you know, you're dead. Black turns in. I have no cards. <laughs> it would. And honestly, there's really no way to prevent you. What are you doing? You're killing red? I guess you kill red. Get four cards? Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Kill all of red? You can kill me, but I'm not a bother. Yeah, kill all of red. Look at this. This plan is working out like a charm. <laughs> the zero card strats. <laughs> you go, you take all of red. Then the beauty of this, if a lot of your troops survive... When you take this thing, a lot of your troops will actually be up here next to white. Then, there's no real way for black to mess this up. Okay, so black, you just move three in. Move three in. Keep the rest. No reason to move them all in. Moved them all into here. Could have kept some closer to white. I don't know why he moved all the 11 all the way in, because now it's not threatening to attack anything. Black all over the map has places where you can't really attack anybody <laughs> but now white and now white doesn't die on this turn black probably wasn't going to get there even if you kept whatever it is eight here probably still wasn't, wasn't going to get there but you're going to take all of that and now this puts me in a tough spot like if i want first which seems impossible i attack black and i can break a bunch of continents I can break four. <laughs> or no, sorry, three. I can break eight. I can break all three of these. But I can also do nothing and take second place. Which seems like the right thing to do. I could take one card just to have a card. No. I just don't want I just get second. That's fine. I could maybe come down, get one card, get ready to square off with black. But it doesn't really make any sense. I don't want to do anything that could possibly agitate black. Black is just going to win. I made fun of him. <laughs> and now he's going to win. White opens himself up to me, so I can also attack white to make second place even closer. But black really should win on the very next turn. Maybe he won't. It'll be hard for him to kill my 17, even if he gets quite a lot of troops. I don't like this by white. White has opened up the 11. So now you can put everybody on this 11, and the 11 can come in and sweep up both of us. So I'm going to guess that I'm playing with basically all beginner players, but I'm still going to take second place. These things happen. Okay, sure. 38 there. That should work. Kill white, get three cards, can't turn in on this one. Make sure you use this 11 to uh, take this two over here. The 11 could probably take up a bunch of these so that the stronger, larger number of units can just come this way. Please tell me you're not going to hit this two with the 18. Please tell me you're not going to hit the two with the 18. Okay, very, very nice. But still, black could have saved like a bunch of troops by using the 11 to potentially take away the left side of the United States. So he's not going to win on this turn. Now, <laughs> the end game of all end games. I break as many continents as I can. I go wild. <laughs> I 
I'll make it tough on black. Just so that we all can learn. But yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, excellent. And the 11 should hit me too. Yeah, very good, very good. Very well played. Yeah, hit me. You gonna slow roll it? It's also reasonable. <laughs> Uses the slider. <laughs> Uses the slider again. <laughs> Just hit me all at once or do the individual rolls. I got the shields up achievement, whatever that is. I've defended some certain amount. Uh, seven. Seven. I'd say. Some might say. This is worth capitulating. Fair enough. But never. I would never quit. You play till checkmate. Gotta break Asia. Look at this. They're all broken. You'll never catch me. All right. You got, I see a lot of nines surrounding me. This should be my last turn. And uh, you know what? I didn't agree with all of Black's strategy entirely. But it certainly did work. And uh, at least I was able to get second with my no card strategy. So that's something that maybe is helpful if you're ever in a tricky situation in order to kind of salvage a game. I don't know what actually happens to my rating. Do I go up or down if I get second place against really low rated players? I don't know. <laughs> I think maybe I can still, uh, when you get in bad situations, you can still take some seconds and maybe preserve rating. But uh, honestly, don't know what happens to my rating at this point. So we'll check it out at the end of this game. And then we'll also figure out that everybody's like an expert or a master or something. And I've been overly cruel <laughs> to my opponents um, who hopefully, if they somehow watch this, do not feel incredibly disrespected. Because at the end of the day, black wins. And that's the goal of the game, however you get there. So well done to everybody. Let's check out how the ratings stack up. Let's check it out. Beginner, novice, intermediate. Red was an intermediate player. But yeah, black, the novice, has destroyed all of us. And what that means for my rating is nothing. <laughs> it stays virtually the same. Lost, actually... 300 ranks or whatever, but nothing too bad. And that's uh, that's the game of Risk. Hooray!